Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's Ash Hilton. I'm a doctor, a dentist, and I'm a medical school admissions tutor in the UK. What I'm about to show you is one of the lessons from my course on how to get into UK medical school. Uh, if you want to see any more of the resources that we talk about or download the PDFs, just head to futuredoc.co. And if you want any more lessons or the full course, you can see all that there too. And that said, enjoy. <music> I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate you on finishing module one. You're doing amazingly well. Module one taught you the foundation that you need to build an outstanding application upon. Now in module two, we're going to teach you how to pick your medical school and gain the necessary experience to get there. I can't wait to show you what's in store. This lesson is to give you an idea of what's to come. Before you make your application, you will need to have decided whether medicine is right for you and you are right for medicine. You should also have arranged or completed some work experience and sat or be ready to sit your aptitude test by the time you apply. The next chapters are going to discuss these in detail, but it helps to get an overview of what's going on throughout the application process before. The applications are made via a central system called the Universities and Colleges Admission Service, UCAS for short. Become familiar with UCAS, as you'll be spending a lot of time on there submitting and checking the progress of your application. The process of applying for medical school in the UK is a long and complex one. However, with me as your guide, you can do this. Here are some things that you need to know first. In late May, you can start your registration for UCAS. On the 5th of September, you can first submit your application, and the deadline for the final submission is the 15th of October. July to November is when you should be sitting your aptitude test, and interviews usually occur between November and April. Offers depend on the university, but usually come about two to three weeks after interviews. Exam results for the International Baccalaureate are around the first week of July. For UK students, their A-level results come out on the third Thursday of August. To get more information about registering for UCAS, I've added the link for the website below, along with some instructions on completing your application. The average medical school gets about 1,500 to 2,000 applications, which are all read by senior doctors who have very little time. They initially filter out some of the applications due to their previous or predicted grades, and about 25% of the applications will be invited for interview. Since the only information they have is your previous grades, the predicted grades from your school, and your work life experience, this is your only chance to convince them that you are the right sort of person to be a doctor. Selectors will read your application in a pile of others. They can only see what you've put on the form, so make sure you include everything that you would like them to know about. Entry requirements are divided into academic and non-academic. The academic requirements include your school grades, which we'll discuss a bit more later, the entry exam, which is either UKCAT or BMAT, and you need to have proof of English competency if applying from abroad. The non-academic requirements are that you have to be at least 18 years old, you have to have occupational health clearance, which usually requires you to have proof of vaccines and ensure that you've completed some health checks. And finally, you have to have some police checks, which are acquired through the Disclosure and Barring Service that we will link to below. Make sure that your application is well written, is interesting, and shows that you have done all the important things needed to get into medical school. The selectors do not have much time to read your application, so if they think that it doesn't contain these things, they will simply put it in the reject pile. UK medical schools offer a range of options to students wishing to study medicine. We have linked to a PDF that explains these in details. The main ones are the five or six year MBBS or MBCHB courses, which are UCAS code A100 or A106, the four year accelerated graduate entry course, which are A101, A102 or A109, and finally, the six year pre-med or foundation course, which are codes A103 and A104. The foundation courses are essentially the normal medical course with an extra year at the start to prepare you for medical school. They are there to help people who don't quite have certain subjects or experience the transition to the full course. Some universities even encourage students from outside of the EU to apply to this particular course so they can transition more easily into the UK system. Not all universities offer this course, so check with the university whether it's available. 
We shall discuss these in further detail later in the course. You're allowed to choose only four medical schools, but UCAS allows five courses to be chosen, so the fifth option is actually for a non-medical degree. Selectors can actually see what you've applied for, and it's my opinion that you actually should commit yourself to a medical course and leave the fifth spot blank. If you are committed and really want it, focus solely on that, you'll get it. Why would you compromise your goal? If you don't feel comfortable leaving the fifth space blank, the only thing I would recommend to do with your fifth spot is, as a backup, apply to the two-year biomedical science degree at Medipathways College London. This course is designed especially to get people into medical school after graduating. You would then apply for the fourth year postgraduate course. The logic with this is that you can have three attempts at getting directly into medical school in the time that it would take you to do another course and then apply to the postgraduate course. With regard to your academic achievements, we have linked to a document that shows what selectors use as a guide to go through when reading through your application and this criteria decides whether or not to offer you an interview. With regards to the grades, from outside of the EU, university advice is varied. For example, Queen Mary's University have very clear guidance on their website what grades they accept from the IALT and the International Baccalaureate. Whereas Hull and York Medical School, on the other hand, have no set requirements and actually ask that you contact them directly. Then, they take your qualifications and do their own research and assess eligibility on a case-by-case -case basis. You will therefore want to check the specific requirements for each university that you are thinking of applying to and find out exactly what their academic achievement preferences are. This is why we recommend that you at least have an idea of which medical school you would like to apply to beforehand to make the process a lot more directed. Our medical school selection comparison tool will help you with this process. However, as it is so individualised, we recommend that you contact the universities individually yourself and once you have narrowed down the selection, you can be a lot more targeted with where you apply. Some universities request specific subjects. Learn what subjects to pick and check the requirements. You need the highest grade, so make sure that you pick subjects that you are good at. For International Baccalaureate, Ideally, you need chemistry and biology for most universities. However, some accept chemistry and one of the sciences. Your teachers will be asked to predict your likely grades, which selectors will look at closely. It is vital for you to work hard in the year building up to this, so that the predictions match the requirements for medical school entry. This next point is very important. If there is any reason why your predicted grades or your actual grades don't match your true potential, due to family disturbance, family illness, make sure you get your referee to comment on it in their statement. You need to convince everyone and yourself that you are on the track to meet the required grades. For international applicants, there are some key differences to be aware of. Firstly, most universities require an English language qualification, which we shall discuss later. To enter a UK medical school, you will need to take either the UK CAT or the BMAT tests. You have to practice extra hard for these because they will be in your second language. The aptitude test cannot be sat in any other languages than English. Each university has a quota for the amount of EU and non-EU students that they can allow in, so each year is quite competitive. You will need to arrange a student visa if you're coming from outside of the EU. Unless you are under the age of 17 or applying for a short course, you will need to apply for the Tier 4 visa. I will need to make sure that you allow at least three months before starting your course to do so. When you arrive in the UK, you will need to arrange your own accommodation. But don't worry, we'll give you instructions on exactly how to do this later in the course. We've added a PDF explaining the timeline of your application, which will give you an overview of the entire process. So now that we have an overview of how the application process goes, download the PDF, familiarise yourself with the timings, and I'll catch you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more or see the full course or any of the resources or PDFs that we allude to in the video, just pop to futuredoc.co and check it out. Thanks.